I'm going to show you all how to adjust the joystick module itself. This is a little bit more complicated. Same principle though, guys. You're going to take the controller apart, unscrew those five screws, remove the rubber pieces from the joystick modules, and this is where it gets to be a little bit more complicated because we have to disassemble the controller a little bit more. You're going to want to go ahead and grab to the left by the motors and lift up the controller from the backing. You want to remove the back of the controller and sit that to the side. Now this is where the tape comes into effect. We're going to be flipping this controller around a lot, guys and gals. So you want to tape down uh, both of these motors over here that cause the vibration, the dual shock for the controller. We're going to we're going to tape those down just to make sure that they don't move around. So grab your electrical tape or any tape that you have, just make sure it's not too adhesive. You don't want to leave any gunk in your controller and just tape down those two motors to make sure that they do not pop out. And we're going to turn the controller over on its back after we're done with this. So make sure they're nice and secure. As you can see, now I can turn the controller upside down and those motors won't fall out. Whereas if we didn't have the tape there, then you turn it up, then you got those dropping out on you. And it's really quite annoying when you're trying to work on a controller. So just make sure that you have a piece of tape to keep those in place. It'll save you a lot of time, a lot of annoyance. Turn the controller upside down, and this is where it gets to be a little more complicated. We're going to be separating the two motherboards from the controller, the two circuit boards. And we're going to do this to get down at this part right here, um, this part of the joystick module. We're going to need to get to that at an angle, and we're going to be able to adjust it. And I'm going to explain to you all how to do that in detail. But first thing is first, we are going to need to remove these screws. So there's a screw right here. Make sure you all can see it. There's a screw right there. There's a screw right here, there's a screw right here behind the motor, and a screw down here behind the motor on the far left-hand side and far right-hand side. So you're going to need to remove these screws by the motor, this screw right here and this screw right here. You really don't have to mess with these. Um, that's if you want to completely disassemble the entire thing and clean it. If you have a lot of dust in your controller and it's really old, you can remove all of them and separate both of the mother motherboards and get a really detailed cleaning of the controller. However, to do this solution, um, you're just going to have to remove these two screws. But yeah, like I said, this is a little bit more of a complicated method. We're going to remove these two screws on the far bottom right and far bottom left so we can separate this circuit board from the bottom circuit board and get down at these joysticks to adjust them manually at an angle. So bear with me as I will fast forward through the video. I'm going to go ahead and remove these screws and I will continue after that. Alright guys and gals, I got the two screws removed from the motherboard, uh, the bottom right hand screw behind the bottom right motor, and the bottom left hand screw behind the bottom left motor. So those screws are a little bit smaller than the five screws we removed from the back of the controller, so you're going to have to find a flathead bit that's a little bit smaller than the one used for those, or a tamper proof bit that is a little bit smaller. And once you have those removed, you're just going to take the motherboard, uh, the front facing motherboard closest to you, and you're going to pull up on it slightly. Be very gentle. Of course, the professional way to do this would be to use a desoldering tool and remove the wires um, and desolder everything to pull the board out completely. However, we're going to save some time. There's no need to do that as long as you're you know, gentle and very secure in your grip. Make sure you don't apply too much pressure. Wiggle it back and forth and pop that board up. So once you get it loose, guys, you're going to see it moving around. You're just going to grab the board and tilt it forward and try to use the two triggers to hold the board up and propped up inside of a propped up position. As you can see right now, I've got the board propped up and I actually have access down to these joystick modules now. So to adjust the joystick modules, guys, this is where it gets to be a little bit complicated. You're going to use a flathead screwdriver that's the exact same size as the bit that you use to remove the five screws originally from the back to disassemble the controller. And what you're going to do is you're going to be adjusting this black center piece right here on the module. There's one on both modules for the controller and whichever joystick module that you're having problems with and you're experiencing drift, you're going to have to adjust that module. So um, if you're drifting forward or up, you are going to turn that counterclockwise. So 
To show you how to do this, guys, you just take the flathead screwdriver and you simply put it right in the center of that. It's going to fit perfectly, and you're going to turn that counterclockwise if your controller is having drift drifting forward or up. And if your controller is having drift drifting down or backwards, you are going to turn that clockwise. So this is going to actually adjust the joystick module. Uh, make sure you give it about a good two to three turns, full turns, and... Once you're done with that, just move the actual joystick around a little bit. Move it around and do it again. Repeat the process a couple times um, and it's going to loosen up any gunk or anything that's inside of the module. So that's pretty much it guys and gals. You just adjust that joystick module. Uh, just remember to turn it counterclockwise if you are drifting up and clockwise if you are drifting down or forward and back. And make sure you take the time to blow this out with some air duster if you have it available, especially when you have the controller disassembled like this. Completely clean it out. And when you put the controller back, my recommendation would be to not add the five screws until you have tested the controller. This is kind of trial and error. You might have to do this several times to get it completely cleaned out uh, and make sure that you're adjusting it so it may fix it a little bit if you're still drifting forward a little bit just turn it counterclockwise a little bit more if you're still drifting back a little bit just turn it clockwise a little bit more and just do it until the drift is completely gone this has been a really successful method it's just a more complicated method and it resolved the issue with my controller so I'm going to go ahead and turn this this is the joystick I'm having problems with and I'm having problems with it drifting up so I'm going to go ahead and turn that counterclockwise All right, and this should resolve the issue for me, and I should not be experiencing this problem anymore. I'm going to move the joystick around a little bit, and it's that easy, guys and gals. Just remember to put the controller back correctly. Uh, just push that motherboard back into place. You could do that by lifting up on the two triggers, popping that back underneath of it. Put the two screws back into place in the bottom right-hand corner and bottom left-hand corner behind those motors, and make sure that those are nice and secure. And then you can turn it back around and remove the tape. This is important. Make sure you don't forget about this tape. Remove the tape from the two motors, and go ahead and reassemble the controller the same way you took it apart. Put those screws back in. Uh, make sure you test it before you put all of the screws back in in case you need to go back in and adjust it. But it's pretty much that easy. I really hope that this helped you guys out. Hopefully it resolved the issue for you and you're no longer experiencing this problem. If you liked the video, please smash the thumbs up button. Please like, subscribe, and share. I appreciate you guys for watching and I'll catch you all next time.